sport is changing. The sports we enjoy are not just about the big league games of football and rugby. There are now a range of new sports which anyone can play. This film looks at two of them, which are becoming popular worldwide. This is Quidditch. The Manchester Manticore's Quidditch team started in 2014. They have seen a rapid growth in popularity with about 40 players registered. But it's on the rise. There are twice as many members this year as last. Robert Naylor, a second year physics student at the University of Manchester, has been president of the Manticore since January 2015. So my tutorial group, uh, when I first met them in Freshers Week, they were all talking about how they were really into Harry Potter and stuff. I wasn't really into Harry Potter, but they all said that they were going to try out this sport, this wacky sport called Quidditch. And I said I'd go along with them. None of them turned up, but I did. And I just absolutely loved the sport. Quidditch is really friendly, it's really open, it's really tolerant and playing a full contact sport without some of the cultural baggage that you get with other sports. Quidditch originated from the magical sport in the Harry Potter series but the Muggle version is still just as rough as other mainstream contact sports. When, when you first start playing Quidditch you assume that it is just a bunch of nerds being very gentle with each other. It's absolutely not like that in the competitive side of the game. So in the top teams like Southampton, they go for you. So yeah, don't, don't be under any illusions. Quidditch is a proper sport and it will come with all the injuries. The Manticore's captain Ben Crump knows all too well how rough this new sport can be. So it was a training session in Leeds that they were running for several other teams. It was the, the last match of the day about half three, so just, just before closing time. Uh, I tackled Rob really hard, um, both went to ground. Um, my wrist kind of went between us, just fractured it about an inch above my above, above where the, the wrist meets the hand. I'll be in cast for five weeks and then I'll be out of contact for 10 weeks at least, possibly 12 weeks depending on how I mend. Quidditch is an inclusive sport, so males and females can play together. The British Cup takes place in Staffordshire. Melanie Piper is the president of Quidditch UK. We still get some PR that is basically all just about, oh, what are these weirdos doing, like just playing some sport on rooms or something. Um, and they come down and actually see it for what it actually is. And the fact it can be vaguely brutal, um, but it's also really fun and actually the real competitive side of it. And there's actually something for everyone in this sport, whereas sometimes that's not always the case. I think it's fair that you have different people in like different positions, different heights, different genders. I think it actually adds to the sport. Um, there's no other sport basically where you could have the chance to tackle down a six foot two rugby player and do it successfully and actually in Quidditch you can and there are a lot of people that do that are about my size and can do just that and that's really impressive and really important that we're actually seeing it pass just height or seeing how someone is actually built like physically and actually seeing their actual skill on the pitch. The Manticles are hosting the Cottonopolis Cup, an event which sees the Quidditch community coming together. Another contact spot on the rise is Roller Derby. Roller Derby is a high impact sport which originated from flat track racing. The sport was revived in the early 2000s in Texas. The Rainy City Roller Girls in Oldham have seen an increase in the popularity since their establishment in 2008, with three teams and over 60 players. Today they are holding an inner league game for new skaters. Black Widows vs the Deadly Debutants. Faye Batters Bay, otherwise known as Fatal Blonde, is in charge of the Black Widows today. Within Roller Derby we have a mixture of so many people that would never ever ever be interested in sport. There's, there's so many different ages and different backgrounds. Every single person within Roller Derby is so welcoming um, and you would never ever get judged for for looking a certain way or you know being a certain size or being a certain age or anything like that. You, you never get judged for it. Modern Roller Derby has grown at an incredible rate since its revival and to get to the top takes commitment. Well, I know it takes over my life. At first it was just um, a bit of fun on skates when I first started and then it kind of, as the more you get involved and the more you 
committed to it, it, it does take over your life. So obviously it's a volunteer run uh, sports league and I'm, I'm head of fundraising so as well as that and skating for the All Stars at quite a high level it's, it does take over a lot of your life. Last year Rainy City self-funded a trip to America in an attempt to boost their world rankings. We are travelling to America again this year in a tournament, a, Wuf a Wufta recognised tournament called Beach Brawl um, and then we're playing teams over a weekend to hopefully build up our rankings there. Manchester! 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 Like Roller Derby, Quidditch has a close community. Here in Manchester, it's the Cottonopolis Cup, a local Quidditch tournament hosted by the Manticores. Over 100 players have travelled from all over the northwest to compete. Hugh Phipps is the Manticores quartermaster. When not playing Quidditch, he can be found in the library studying for his degree in history. Coming from rural Lincolnshire, why did Quidditch appeal to him? What stood out for me about Quidditch is not only the people that play, but also the way the game functions. Because it's very difficult, it can exist, it's very difficult for sort of one player to carry the team. And so because of that, it makes it a very team integrated sport, which I really enjoyed. The sport itself is really fun. And if you're going to play Quidditch yourself, you're going to have a kind of mindset. You're going to be more into the sort of alternative way of looking at things. And so on that basis, that is why I really enjoyed Quidditch. And the, uh, it was really the team aspect of it. You have less opportunity for individualism which I think is just better for societies and teams as a whole. Because if you need to play as a team, you need to interact as a team, you need to function as a team, and you need to be as a team. And then that goes over into the social side as well. But I've always felt a stronger connection when playing Quidditch than I did when I've, been, when I've played other sports in the past. It's the battle of the beginners, as the Manticores are up against fellow newcomers Preston. The nature of the Quidditch community means that the Manticores are willing to share their homes with friends from the visiting teams. I'd say the Quidditch community is pretty tightly knit because it's, it's a growing sport and people will bend over backwards to help a new team to assist them to come into creation because people want to play against new teams. I think most people in the country want there to be a Quidditch team at every university because the more there are, the more you can play, the more people that play, sort of the better the sport will become. And what's really nice is that in, in the past few weeks we've had practices where Liverpool and Sheffield have come to visit us because they're reasonably new teams as well. So in that regard, you have a sort of a camaraderie that builds forward and you're all willing to assist each other. The important thing is that this tournament's gone really well and um, you know, everyone seems really happy. It's putting Manchester on the map. It's making people know our club name, which is brilliant. This regional competition is designed to help develop underdeveloped teams in this local area. Uh, so Preston, for example, and uh, Liverpool, very new teams, and it's just really helping facilitate the North West as a region. It was formerly quite sparse of Quidditch, but it's definitely developing pretty quickly. It's a long, long way to be conceived, but it's not going to take us long. Take us long! We're back at the Thunderdome and the Rainy City All-Stars are up against the Tiger Bay Brawlers from Cardiff. A crowd of over 250 have come to see this exciting contest. What a way to begin your roller derby experience! Many skaters have bizarre alter egos, but why? Number 38, Mine originally was fatally blonde. Um, but then I changed it to fatal blonde. <laughs> I'm not fatal blonde, so I'm doing more like badass. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, my name started to kind of merge into Blondie. 88, Ruben Banshee! One of the reasons why I chose it was because I envisaged my role and I envisaged what I would do as a blocker and as somebody who's creating impact on people, which is where the bruising comes from. When Roller Derby started up again, because it's got quite a long history in the United States, one of the parts of Roller Derby was about having this kind of new identity almost. People have a whole range of things. They might be 
puns, they might be named after their favourite character in a film or, you know, whatever it is. Rainy City won this close fought game, 160 to 147. But what does the future hold for Rainy City and Roller Derby? I'd like to see Rainy City Roller Derby as like the best, the best team in, in Europe. For the whole the, the, the whole of Roller Derby, I just want it to become people to become more aware of it and people know what it is and how how it's played and because it's huge in America, there's a lot of people that that know what it is in America because um, it was founded in America but yeah I'd love it to be huge in the UK. Back in Staffordshire for the British Quidditch Cup, teams from across the country have gathered to compete for the prestigious national prize. It's really good to see all teams from around the country. The BQC is getting bigger and bigger year after year so I think last year it was about 24 teams, this year it's 32. Uh, getting more and more teams. Yeah, it's it's really boding well for our sport. It's continuously growing. There's obvious reasons for that. Brilliant community, brilliant sport. We always have lots of fun, even if we lose. <laughs> I can't see my life without Quidditch at all and I think a lot of people here feel the same. Um, I think the future of Quidditch is pretty huge. I think, it, again, it's going to be quite a long process getting past the stigma of it just being based in Harry Potter, just a bunch of nerds on brooms. It's going to take a while and it's getting there slowly. Um, and so, like In the UK it's getting much better. Like We are getting a lot more press now that's much more positive and actually explaining about the sport. Fingers crossed in the future Quidditch will be in the Olympics and that would be really cool and I'd love to see that happen. Quidditch and roller derby are two wacky sports which can be played by everyone, but they are not for the faint hearted. Through commitment and dedication, friendships can be made that will last a lifetime. Will these sports become mainstream? Only time will tell.